All right, it looks like we may, it, this may be working. I don't even know what channels I'm projecting this to right now. I just signed up in my spare time to a thing called Lula in with an F in, with the idea of being able to do a live stream to more than one platform at the same time. Probably trying to cheat the system or whatever, but anyway, I signed up for Lula and got it all set up and it said no, you got to pay the money if you want to do this part that you want. All right, so I all right, I'll throw a month's in and hopefully not forget Hopefully it's not like Stan or Facebook or, you know, what's it called? Stan, Netflix, Fox, everything where you, or you sign up and then you just kind of don't get around to unsigning up. So the idea here is um, we, you get onto this thing. I'll show it to you. It's going to be crazy because there's a delay. So to my right, there's a screen with OBS. So that's current. So it just shows it shows me doing what I'm doing right now in the correct time. OBS is sending it on the internet to this uh, Lula software that apparently is sending it live to YouTube and Instagram, as far as I can tell. I don't know about that because there's there's little zeros under this. I'll show you. It's crazy because the delay. You watch, it'll go bloom. Bloom. So there's about three or four seconds delay, and that'll just keep going forever. But if you ignore that psychedelic crap in the middle, and you look over here, it appears that these are the platforms it thinks it's sending them to. So uh, I don't quite know how to find that out. Maybe I'll just look on my phone and have a look and see if any of my what if see if this is if this is projecting on the ah the Aussie vinyl show is live dear god with one viewer now in theory that my one of my accounts castaway studios has just signed in to watch i don't hear it but probably got it on silent uh, but I'm not seeing it. Ah, oh, there it is. So it takes about five or six seconds there. And let's just keep testing. This is great. So I'm sorry that this turned up on the Aussie Vinyl Show because it's not about vinyl, but it is about being able to do the show. Uh, streaming. Uh, I've got extreming, extreming FOMO. Uh, I don't want to do a stream onto YouTube because then I miss out on doing it on Instagram. I don't want to do a stream onto Facebook because then I miss out on doing it on YouTube, so on and so forth. So that's why I'm experimenting with this uh, Lula vibe and see if it works. Well, I can see it. Let's have a look. I'll put a thumbs up and see if it shows up on my... This Lula thing also, let me go back to that. It also appears to... Don't get distracted by the psychedelia here. But it also appears to... Um, yeah, it does. It shows the chat. It shows the chat. Apparently, I don't know how I'm going to find this one out. Apparently, it um, combines chat from YouTube and Instagram. What do you think? Do you think it's possible? Oh. New streamline. I think I might be on YouTube Live. Might be on. There you go. It is working. So. I'm not sure how I would make a comment, but I'll have to just hope someone. If someone is out there on Instagram watching this, which I know. Hey, Lou. This is exciting. All right. Okay. I know that my whole life seems to be test after test after test, but this is a good one. Um, but, oh, she's gone. Oh, 
never mind. All right. So I will catch up with Lou sometime very soon, I hope. Snuck, snuck back into the country. I want somebody to get onto YouTube and have a look and try and make a comment. If this works, then I think I'm getting closer to the ultimate goal. Let's have a look. I'm going to go to normal YouTube live now. Oh, disappeared. I'm live via Lula is the name of the live chat. Let's have a look. Oh, I better turn that down or we're going to get a feedback loop. All right. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Add a public comment. Okay, here's the test. All right, I'm going to hit go and I'm going to get the screen back to... Oh my God, where's the screen that's running this show? There it is. Bring that up here. Have a look. Castaway Studios joined. La La Loopy just joined. And at some stage I'm hoping that it shows probably Castaway Studios logo in more of a sunburst vibe. And if that does that, that means the YouTube messaging is coming up in the same live chat, which would be grouse. It is now showing me up in the corner here uh, that there's one viewer on YouTube as well, which is me. God knows what this is doing to my uh, wife or my broadband bandwidth, seeing as I'm, what am I doing? I'm sending out a stream, my phone's watching the stream, my YouTube is watching the stream all on the same mm. account. Still no message from Castaway Studios. Here is the test. Oh, maybe I haven't pressed, I didn't press go. What a goose. So count from now to see how long it takes to show up. It's telling me now, oh, no, the YouTube watcher went in and out there. Which is me, so I think that's a bit weird. <sighs> Let's look at some of the other things. TikTok, Twitch, Twitter. Where's Facebook? Live me. Live. Oh, that's disappointing. I want to. S the whole point is Facebook. I'd like, to, I'd be happy even if, it, oh, look, I want Instagram, but I'd be happy if I streamed to Facebook and YouTube, but I guess I could get used to just streaming to YouTube and twi and maybe an Instagram, even though I'm technically a square in Instagram. So I'm going to have to uh, keep my head in the middle of the screen. Because what I'm sending out now is a 16.9 wide in um, in OBS, sending that to Lula, and the Lula is sending it out to Instagram, and Instagram's just playing uh, about, I guess here, that's about it, whereas that's about half the amount of stuff that I'm capturing. So I'll be careful not to put important stuff on the edges. For this type of thing okay so if you if you have got this up on your YouTube I ask you sincerely as a favor to make a comment I don't care what it says because this is a test to see if the live chat from YouTube appears in the same it's advertised the Lula app advertising is that it mixes both the chats from Instagram or any of any of them and YouTube and mixes them all together um, I'll say a test uh, I made a I wrote a message called test and there it is Castaway Studio oh and that live chat is 
appears to be coming from my YouTube channel. That's very interesting. All right. And that was me making the chat. So YouTube's the primary source. Oh, here comes something. The Aussie Vinyl Show just said, test. Okay, so when I type on here, it sends out a message from from my YouTube channel and a message from my uh, Instagram channel. So both of those. So if I look on Instagram, it'll say test, but it won't show that it's from the YouTube channel, of course. Ah, very interesting. Um, oh, we're going to have a quick look and see. It says two people are watching. If you are watching this, this testing part of this uh, using Lula, then please drop a comment. I've dropped a comment, but as myself, and it's just kind of ignored it. I'll write test two and comment and see if it pops up. But I don't think it will. I reckon, I reckon this could be usable, to be honest, looking at it. It's quite simple. But the, of all the different ways of going you know, straight from Windows or straight from some online uh, web-based thing, is you don't get to control it like I can control OBS, which is flipping it from one screen to the other. Look, there's even different cameras around the, around the place. There's all sorts of things going on. Um, but there's even my you see there's all sorts of things you can do when you've got the all right so now oh bud my favorite guinea pig i look forward to catching up and hearing your adventures that's for sure uh, all i'm doing is testing streaming from my computer into a third party thing that then can split it into uh, hopefully uh, YouTube and Instagram so that's it Pokemon cut no just me being glorious uh, I was doing a video earlier on about lighting this place which I'm not having a great deal because I'm so animated wherever the lights are my glasses will find them at the moment, I'm looking at this screen. I'll show you. That's what I'm looking at. So you see that square around the edge of white. You see, that's, what's, that's what's showing up in my glasses. What do you think about the <laughs> Maccas? No worries, Maccas. I'm going to tell the story now. Bud's from America. And I was saying, G'day, Maccas. Uh when I saw him and he thought that, uh, by the way, but you're the only person listening and it's live, so no one's ever going to hear it. So I'll probably save that story for another day. Um, I think it's working. I've got, I've got no real way of telling. Uh, my phone is watching. My phone is watching down here in front of me. I'm going to show you. Look at that. So that's a bit delayed, but that the phone is watching it. And my YouTube, oh my God, my YouTube is watching it. Ready? There it is. Uh, so that's pretty amazing. The amount of the amount of intense pressure I'm putting on my uh, bandwidth is a bit much. Hey, hippies on bikes! Thanks for joining. Uh, I don't want to disappoint too much, uh, but I am just testing. Lula, uh, which appears to be, I just Google searched, how do I, how do I stream onto Instagram from my PC workstation? And I, 
Lula was the answer, apparently. So I've jumped on there and I've set it all up instead of being at home with the family. And, and it appears to be working. Audio, I don't know. Do you like my little... This is a bit kooky, but God, it gives me a lot more freedom than having a microphone. I'll show you my normal... You've seen it all before, but this is my normal microphone, which is great and would make me sound way sexier. But problem is uh, I'm always crashing into it when I'm putting records on and stuff like that. Um, What else can I say? Thanks, hippies on bikes. I'm so glad it's working. And the what is amazing, and the reason I haven't done any other stuff um, except for this, is this actually... I'll show you again. Quick, before it goes psychedelic. Oh, well, here we go. On the right-hand side here is the chat. You see? So that chat will... Get me back. That chat will combine the chat from YouTube and the chat from Instagram and all the other things that I'm not so good at like Twitch and uh, TikTok and all the kids things so there you go I'm not too uh, this is 25 bucks a month though I couldn't help myself and I signed up thinking I'll turn it off as soon as I I'll turn it off if it doesn't work and I'll turn it off a bit if it does work I'll put off you know like Stan I'll just finish two more series and then then wipe it but if I start using it then obviously it's well worth it if I don't it's a total waste of money and that's I guess that's the subscription lifestyle that's what they're relying on alright so um, shall we call it a success has anyone got any questions anyone got any any questions for the teacher or the learner um I've I've got uh, any re- any re- any requests for my little I can poke my extra camera around the place if you want a tour of the studio or anything like that I'm gonna I'm gonna set um, OBS to studio mode and that allows me to rock around uh, here try this one. You know what it is. Sorry about that. Um, that 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 temporary scene that I had set up doesn't actually have a, the audio assigned to it. It was just a bit of a boo boo there. Um, I want to. I wanted to try and get over, but I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of killing the stream because this is all experimental. But I want. You'll see this boom arm now. I'm going to roll this over. And that is a little Logitech 922. I'm going to give you a tour, bugger it. Let's 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 have some fun here. I'll turn the record down. All right. So I'll turn OBS off studio mode, and I'll get you onto the adventure camera. All right, there it is. So studio tour coming. Um, I'm going to turn it around that way. That there 
is the famous Logitech. You'll see it in the middle of the screen. My little camera's coming loose, so I have to be careful here. That's the Logitech PTZ Pro 2 camera. I'll try and get my finger in the screen. There it is. All right, so the interesting thing about that is PTZ stands for Pan, Tilt and Zoom. And I can't pan, tilt or zoom it because it immediately goes out of focus. So um, it's a joke. It's faulty. I took it back to the shop. It's a long story. You'll have to look at my other YouTube videos to to follow this story. I'm up to episode six or seven of the saga of trying to get this thing replaced. Um, Logitech in America have pretty much given up or been too embarrassed of Harvey Norman and suggested maybe they'll just send me a new one. But it does work straight on. Let's go back to that. So you know, that's, the, that, that's the Logitech. I, in between, I didn't expect to use this camera today, so the colour balance is not the same. This, what you see now, is coming from the um, the 922. The one on the that was playing on the record was actually a Brio, which is a much fancier webcam. Um, let's have a look. There's the record setup. So that's the record player, and that's the Brio webcam. And the good thing about that is the Brio has a real fish-eyed, not quite fish-eyed, but it has a very wide-angle lens. And that allows me to to keep it uh, fairly close down and grab the whole record player. It's good for tech reviews and stuff like that because it, um, it just, you just have it over the tech thing and get on with it. Right. So <clears throat> the next thing in my great tour would be... Well, you know what? Something we've we've looked at twice already, but see this thing here. This is pretty cool. I just got I got one of these a while back and never even knew where I got it from. I couldn't remember. And the those legends from the Daily Talk Show gave me a Amazon voucher for a Christmas present, and I used it to buy another three or four of these because they are absolutely awesome. All it is, if you think about it the other way up, it's a, it's a camera mount. It's got the rubber base here with the quarter-inch thread. Okay, so it's a camera mount, but then it converts to a ball joint and has a... Inside here, it has a, a mic stand thread. So I can use them on... Well, well, this is on a mic stand. So it's pretty awesome like that. Um, and I've got the same goes with that Brio over there. Let's, let's change cameras. See that? It's on the top of a, a little sort of mic stand thing and pointing down at the record player. Love it. Absolutely love it. So what else can we show you around here while I'm, while I'm on a rampage? Um, the records. Look at that. Um, synths. I always assumed that maybe... Buying synthesizers would make me a good a musician or something, but never really worked. Got given the, I don't even know how to say it, kawaii or something like that. And there, But above that, I got off my brother in the, probably the early 90s or mid-90s. And it's an 80s, um, it is an analog synthesizer. Let me try and remember what it, what it is. Ah, normally, it's a Juno 2, Roland Juno 2. Pretty cool. Found it up in my attic under an inch of dust. Cleaned it right out, pulled it to bits, put all new little pressure pad things on inside and got it working. That's really good. But above that is the one I actually use. You can't see it because of the crazy lighting in here. But there's a little tiny little portable that I use on the desk for jingles and stuff like that. Over there you've got um, the mask that my son wears to do his Fortnite podcast. Um, I've tried showing these today this is my lighting up there so it's video lighting with uh, white umbrellas hanging off it um, the mirror ball all the other mixers over there in the corner have a look at this one this is the new um, that's the new zoom l8 live track mixer which is awesome i'm currently reviewing that and preparing to do a 
um, a sort of a shootout video of that versus the Rodecaster Pro. And I can tell you right now, it is not going to be a winner-takes-all shootout. Those two are going to be completely... The difference between the two will be in the people and uses that need them because they are both magnificent machines. There's my um, spoiler alert. There's no way that more than two people are alike in this world and some people will need more XLR inputs, some people will need to put effects on, some people will need it to be bloody easy and not go wrong and all these different, they both have massive amounts of positives. This guy will be the one that's used for people who have any musical use for it as well because it it does have you know gain controls it does have pads uh, attenuation in here and even high z or high z as i would call it they have added uh, a little bit of mix, mix minus uh, trrs in here but that's not what we're talking about here today this is my this is my baby see this these are my mic arms that i developed myself using uh not quite found objects but certainly um researching the parts that I need from suppliers overseas and I've got those together and come up with the absolute ideal V-logging V-logging microphone arm because it stays low and well I like this little guy here but as you can hear when you move around can you hear that you can hear little horrible sounds um, coming from the cable so I'm yet to work out how to how to muffle that. I know if I hold it up here, nothing you do at the cable, it doesn't transfer. So I think it's going to be about somehow clipping this cable to something. We'll work it out. YouTube will help me, that's for sure. Oh my God, this goes forever. All right, I better hop off now. Um, thanks for sticking at it. I figured if I really yap on for a long, long time, I'll get a better sense uh, of how this software works which is called Lula and and whether it's going to spit me off halfway through or after five minutes and that's why I'm just going on and on for no real reason next time I come on I'll have something to talk about apologies to the Aussie Vinyl Show people because this is not Aussie Vinyl Show it just it seems that that's what I've signed Lula into inadvertently um, and I'll I'm yet to find out which one of my YouTube channels is receiving this. I'm pretty sure it's just the main Castaway Studios one, which is perfect. All right. Well, thank you very much, and allow me to look dumb for a minute while I try and end the stream. If this records, then I'll use a countdown with my fingers to end the stream to know how close to the end of the stream. It's always good to know when you're doing a stream because so many times you can... Um, think you've ended the stream and then you might just sit around looking stupid or pick your nose or whatever but i'd like to know and also i don't want to cut off the fi the finale uh, either so let's try it from this end rather than shut it off at, at uh, obs all right look thanks for hanging out love you bud i might pop down and see you if you're around any minute all right five four